Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, today is Friday. Praise God. And and, and what a day. Uh, we were talking about something very important yesterday that we, we couldn't finish. So we have to bring it in to today. And I pray the Spirit of God will help us conclude properly today what we've been talking about, especially this week praise god but before we go on to today's broadcast can we make demand for our daily bread join me right now and say father i demand from you my daily bread is coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god thank you lord jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now we are in Daniel chapter 10. Now we read Daniel chapter 9, you know, yesterday. We began from there. And then we saw how uh, Daniel saw something um, from the book of Jeremiah. And then he began to pray. So we'll talk about one of the kind of prayers we pray. is the prayer to receive wisdom from God. The prayer to receive wisdom from God. And Daniel said the moment he saw that, he began to pray and fast. Now we're not told how long Daniel fasted. But you see, we were told that he prayed until the evening um, oblation. So it was a fast because he didn't eat until it was evening. Now most likely he started in the morning. Okay, so... He, he saw something and that drove him to the place of prayer and fasting. Now, every child of God should experience this. Every child of God should, should learn how to do this. The fact that you have read something is not enough. You must get your own confirmations. And you don't just get this confirmation sitting there and say, God confirmed to me. You fast. So you fast to know the wisdom of God. You fast to know the mind of God for concerning a situation. Even though it's written in the Bible. You don't just say, since it's written, I believe it. No! You've got to understand how it relates with you. And then we saw how Gabriel was sent immediately. And Gabriel said, the moment you started praying, I was sent, a command was released, a signal was released, and I was commanded to come bring you this answer. Immediately you began to pray. Now this gives you an idea that God answers our prayers immediately. Now imagine Daniel began to pray in the morning. By the time Gabriel came, it was in the evening. See, and Gabriel showed up and began to talk to him. Now, Notice Daniel said in verse in, in chapter 21. Let's just look at something there. Verse 9, in chapter 9, verse 21, sorry. It says, Yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, he called him the man Gabriel, which I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. He called him the man Gabriel. He didn't say the angel Gabriel. He said the man Gabriel. Because the form he saw was the form of a man. Yeah. I pray God give you certain experiences. Because encounters like this puts an end to arguments. Silly arguments. Now, we go back to chapter 10. That's where we stopped yesterday. Now, Daniel was describing what he saw in a vision. He said that this was a vision. Now, he said the guys were with, that were with me did not see this vision because uh, there was an earthquake, physical earthquake happened. Now, Daniel was praying for 21 days. He was fasting and praying for 21 days. Now, he didn't say it was night and day and night he just said it was fast he, he listed the kind of things he didn't eat he said he didn't eat any pleasant bread so whatever if he had eaten anything not something that his heart delighted him just maybe to keep body moving but he wasn't in fast okay and while he was in that fast something happened 
And I said yesterday that what the experience Daniel had is, is the description is almost the same description that uh, John gave in the book of Revelation when he saw this person. Hi, Kumana. Hmm. I read you verse. Let me read start from verse 7. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. So something physical happened that caused this man to run. Praise God. Therefore, I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned, my comeliness, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption and i retained no strength yet heard i the voice of his words and when i heard the voice of his words then was i in a deep sleep on my face and my face towards the ground and behold an hand touched me which set me upon my knees and upon the palm of my hands and he said unto me oh daniel a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto you. And stand upright, for unto thee I am now sent. That when, and when he had spoken these words unto me, I stood trembling. It's good. Then he said unto me, fear not, Daniel. Watch this now. For from the first day, that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God. Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But my push a catalyst can die. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I am come for thy words because of what you were saying. Oh, we don't understand what happens when we pray. Especially when we're praying and seeking the mind and wisdom of God. We don't understand what is going on. We don't. We, we, we're just there, you know wondering whether God is hearing us because we think we've waited. Daniel waited 21 days. 21 days. And, and, and this, this, this being is telling him that look, from the very first day I was sent. And I was sent because of your words, because of what you were saying. Oh, well, how many things have God done because of what you were saying? That's why when you pray, you don't complain. Don't complain. God's not going to respond to your complaints. Oh, Father, if, if, if you don't help me, why can't you just tell me? Huh? He will respond to you. You must choose the words you speak when you pray. I'll read our story again. Then he said unto me, Fear not. Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand, first to understand, I told you he was praying about something. Now this is just like the same thing he was doing in chapter 9, okay? He was praying about something. And he wanted to understand why. From the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come unto thy, I am come for thy words. Now Gabriel said, from the first time you set your heart to pray, a commandment was given, and I'm come because of you. And now here yeah, you're hearing again that I'm come for your word. But look at verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me. One and twenty days. How long was Daniel praying? 
21 days. The angel said, look, I was sent from the very first day you began to pray. Now, the reason you spent 21 days praying without getting any answer is because there was an interference. There was a blockage. There was someone called the prince of the kingdom of Patia. What happened? Say he withstood me one and 20 days. He held me down for 21 days. Now, who's this prince of Patia? Now, this is one of the reasons prayers are delayed. Daniel's prayer was not delayed because God didn't want to answer. Daniel's prayer was delayed, not in the heavens. Daniel's prayer was delayed here on earth. He was coming in to bring forth Daniel's answer. Now, this gives you an idea of angelic protocols. Now, now remember, Daniel wasn't praying about food to eat or money or all those things. Now, those things don't necessarily come from heaven. Are you getting what I'm saying? God doesn't send an angel from heaven to accomplish that. The angels here on earth have already been given charge concerning you, where those things are concerned. So, truly, there's no prince of patience that is going to block you from getting money or from getting anything that has to do with your well-being. No prince of patience is going to block it. But there are certain businesses we do with God that will require an angel from heaven being sent down to you. Now, when this happens, this angel is bringing an information that have not been released yet on the earth please understand what i'm saying yeah now why did the prince of pesha block this engine and how how come you know there are many who is this prince of pesha why did he block this engine is it possible today for an age for a prince of whatever pesha or maybe nigeria or uh the united states or india is it possible for that prince to block my prayer yes yes but i said not not the kind of prayer most 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 people pray because most most believers are just concerned about god give me this give me i need this help me all those things are done in israel god has already released all those things you see but this one have to do it Entering into the mind of God. Entering into doing business with the throne of God. So God has to open the archives. Are you getting what I'm saying? He has to open the books to release scripts because you're demanding it. Now this tells me that when we demand things like that, we are not told sorry. It's, it's, not, it's not for you. How many things have you demanded from the Lord? And how long did you wait for it? Lord, I want to know why is this happening this way? According to events, times, that those things will require the wisdom of God. And you see, this is the first time we're hearing that Daniel's prayer was hindered for 21 days. And who hindered Daniel's prayer? A prince of Persia. Now, who's the prince of Persia? The prince of Persia is not a demonic prince. Please understand this. The prince of Persia was an angel of God. The prince of Persia is a watcher. He's the one that God sets. He's an angel, of course. And he's the one God sets to watch over the kingdom of Persia. Now, remember, Persia have just overthrown um, the, the, the Medes, okay? Pesha have just come to rule over the whole realm. So it's no more the, the king of Babylon. It's now a different king ruling over the whole realm. And he's Cyrus. And Cyrus did not know Daniel. Please understand this. They were all in, under captivity. But why? How come? But, but then under Nebuchadnezzar, they were under captivity because Daniel. Daniel had the covered this container under that. Sometimes I pray you learn wisdom. Daniel was already doing business with the king. And because Daniel was doing business with the king, he was known even by the prince of the realm. 
Sometimes you see, you know, I, I know some, some, some people have criticized those things. You are a preacher, okay? And then you are going to a different country, a different place to hold a meeting, to hold a crusade. And you're going to do business, spiritual business in that place. And so you see sometimes they go there and they say, oh, let me greet the governor. Let me greet the president of the country. And then someone says, hey, can you imagine? He's going to, um, you know, huh? Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Why? Because when you step into that realm, when you step into that place, you, you first of all want to acquaint yourself with the authorities that be physically. As you're acquainting yourself with the physical authorities that exist, guess what you're doing? You're also making yourself known to the spiritual authorities that be in that land. Now, these spiritual authorities, they are angelic beings, okay? They are not demonic beings. They are angelic beings. So, uh, the Prince of Persia was not a demonic being that, that was opposing. Did you, did you see the description of this angel that Daniel gave? Yet, he think it's one demon that will not stop him. <laughs> Allah da baro to vene. <laughs> that, that demon will burn. Why was it possible for this prince of Persia to stop this, this being, bringing that message to Daniel? Because he was an angelic being. And he had authority over the realm by God. God gave him authority over that realm. Now, what was going on? I think I've explained this on this broadcast before. Because Daniel was not known. Yes. Daniel was not known by the king. Daniel did have not started doing business with Cyrus. Daniel wasn't known. He wasn't known. So while this angel was coming, sorry, where? Now, now, I call this a bit into scabbard. May God give you understanding concerning this thing. Daniel, this angel, the prince of Persia, saw this angel coming into his realm. And the angel did not understand for what purpose somebody was transacting business directly with heaven and they were not aware. It's like somebody transmitting a radio signal that the government is not aware and they are transmitting. What do you think will happen? The authorities will trace that thing and shut it down. So the priest of Pesha was just there and then suddenly he saw this angel, this, this being coming with, uh, sorry, um, where are you going to? Oh, I have a message to deliver. I don't recognize the message. I don't recognize. And remember, they had just, they just began to rule over this realm. And naturally, if because they have overthrown the other kings, okay? And they are now in power. It's natural for evil. You see, angels do politics. <laughs> yes. So this prince of Pesha first was afraid that his reign would come to an end. He was afraid. I mean, I mean, we're just, I mean, we're just the world power now. So we're flexing. I'm important. That's that's how that's how they feel. I'm important because now I have been elevated to be ruling over the whole realm with the world power right now. And then suddenly there is a message that you're not aware of. Ah, nah, 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 nah. So he blocked him for 21 days. <clears throat> you see, this is the reason we're going to end very soon. But, but please understand this. If you're a prayer person, please learn this. If you're a prayer person, Seek to know every symbol of authority where you live or where you do your business. Now, if you're a business person, the same thing. Learn this, please. You, you, you do business in a certain area. What are the authorities in that area? If it is the police, get to know the, the person in charge of the police in your area. Get to know them. Pay a visit to them. You move into a new area and you are a spiritual person. Get to know the people in authority. Get 
to know them. Doesn't mean you'll be in party with them every day, but but just get to identify with them. Say, hey, I just moved into a neighborhood. Oh, this is a police station. Who's in charge? Oh, it's a DPO. Oh, okay, that's district police officer. Okay, so um, I'm in your district. I just came to familiarize yourself with you. I'm, I'm in your district, and this, and the, I know someone will say, ah, you want to get into trouble? Don't go and enjoy this. No, don't be afraid of those things. Take a gift with you. I just came to greet you guys. I'm, I'm this, this, this is what I'm into. As much as you can tell, this is what I'm into. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm just in the neighborhood. I just moved in. I said, let me come and know you people. You'll be amazed. Get acquainted. Now, it's not just because you need their favor. It's also spiritual. So that when you begin to transact spiritual business, the, the, the prince over that realm already recognize you. And time is up. There are certain things you do that will make your life easy. There are certain things you do that blocks all these unnecessary warfares that you fight. I'm praying for something. 21 days we're battling this thing. It could just be that it's blocked. There, there is one angel there that's like, I don't know you. I don't know you. See? Hey boy, you know what happened after 21 days? Read the story. God had to sell, send Angel Michael. Now, who was Angel Michael? He's the prince of the Jews, prince of Israel. The same way you have the prince of Pesha, and Michael was the prince of Israel. And he came to pave the way for that angel. And then after that, you know, the angel had said to Daniel, if you read the story, the angel had said to Daniel, that, look, I'm going back to deal with this prince of Pesha because he was not supposed to do this. Supposed to have respected my badge that I was coming from the throne room. And when I'm done, another prince will take over because that guy will be dislodged. Another prince taking over means another realm coming to rule over. My time is up. Praise God. Oh, glory, 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 glory. If you've not learned anything this week, you need to pray some more. Praise God. I bless you today. I pray that this weekend be a supernatural one for you. I pray that the Lord fills your heart with great understanding in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, not tomorrow. Have the best weekend ever. Bye.